What's up, What's up, everybody? <laughs> you know what? Little play play you could have kept on going. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome. Pillow Talk, Moments with the Mobies. I am Johnny Mobley Jr. Hey, y'all. I'm Deidre. <laughs> yeah, tripper, y'all. We're something like an ordinary couple. With extraordinary purpose. So this is how you feel in the day. It is. You it's feeling jolly and joyful. Jolly and joyful. Greetings, salutations, accolades, and blessings, everybody. What's up, y'all? So we, today, we wanted to just kind of talk about some miscellaneous stuff. Great been, day, baby. You been sipping? No. Oh. I'm high on Jesus. I have water. All right. I have water. All right. I was just saying great morning, King. Great afternoon. It's 310. <laughs> So this is what we doing today? Ah! This is what we doing? Anyway, y'all, this is a little potluck we doing today because I just wanted to talk about some stuff. All right. Well, let's talk about some stuff. I found out. So this week, as you all, all as you all know, we moved in. Um, me and me and Deidre took the week off, and we just been putting boxes up. Y'all know the routine: unpacking, what you keeping, what you're not keeping. What we got to get, what we need immediately, what can wait, all that right. good stuff. All that good stuff. So <laughs> through the through the entire process, um, just been learning a lot of stuff. It's it's amazing how I've been with you this long, and it's like it's brand new stuff I did not ever know. It's it's just crazy. Is it's, it crazy? It is. It's really, really crazy. Well, can we give like, can I give like some shouts out before you tell them some things you didn't know about me, for um, sure, for you know, to you, for um, just for being you. Thank you, babe. And well, thank you for letting me just be me. I ain't got to be nobody else. Yeah. At this point, yeah. now I can't be nobody. No, else. you can't. No, you can't. So it is. Yeah, I don't want nobody else, and so. Thank you. I honor you, and thank you to um, my birthday was on Monday, y'all. I'm still celebrating for the entire month of August. I gotta do something. I gotta do something for you, little. Wait. Oh, excuse me, y'all. Excuse me, y'all. I forgot to turn. Phone I forgot on. to turn my ring now. Wow. Um, <laughs> excuse me, y'all. This is, um, this is this is a potluck potluck <laughs> episode. You might get anything. Anything can happen. <laughs> um, so, and I just want to say thank you to the girls, even though I told them already, um, they came over, the three of them that live in, you know, in town came over and made brunch for me mm -hmm. and you kept it a secret. You didn't tell me. I did. We and, went to the, um, we went to the beach, went and prayed with our ministry, um, for our anniversary, for their anniversary, for our church for anniversary. Church. Mm -hmm. And then we came back home. We already had a full day. Well, for pastor, pastoral, for pastoral anniversary. I'm sorry, anniversary. church anniversary is next month. Mm -hmm. So we did that, came back home, um, and yeah, and had a full day. And, and yeah, and then you, y'all, the girls surprised the me. The girls with came brunch. over and we started cooking. And yeah, and y'all, we, um, I got to share it. We had shrimp and grits, smothered shrimp and grits, mm -hmm. and it was amazing. And, and a little um, bit this morning, too. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Leftovers. We had leftovers, and then. Um, my mom and um, my parents in love came over and made a nice spread with some okra soup, with shrimp in it, and some uh, lima beans yes, and rice Jesus. and mac and cheese and meatballs and baked chicken. Baked chicken. Yeah, cream of chicken chicken, yep. I think. And um, peach cobbler and pineapple upside down cake. My one of my favorite kids. Yeah, and so it was really nice, y'all. So I just want to shout all of them out for the surprise brunch and surprise dinner. Yeah. And um, so now here we are. We got to spend the week together. Yep. And uh, it was a lot going on, but it I wouldn't have it any other way. It was a lot going yeah. on, and it, it wasn't. I'll say this: it was a different vacation because it's a different time in our life. So mm -hmm. we on vacation, we somewhere maxing heavy and hard on the water somewhere, either in the mountains or on the water. But this time, you know, we we moved in our house and it, it's it's been great. Mm -hmm. um, so we 
beginning of the week has been it was real real heavy. We was we moved <laughs> in and we was doing some things and you know getting a getting a house. You know I had a small little SUV and and I needed to get a pickup truck. Cause you know with a house you got I got grass and I and you know all the good stuff. So the men know what I'm talking about. You got to, you know, be able to. You want to have the inside of your truck looking good and you know nice and clean. And you can't really do that with an SUV if you got to put like um, straw or mulch or something in it. So I got something with a bed in it. So we went truck hunting. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all, my my wife, <clears throat> my wife little cousin was in town that's what you call it yeah that what you call it what you call it <laughs> uh, i say my friend visited yeah, her yeah friend something visited. like that what, what, what we're talking about is we gonna say her period i was gonna say menstrual cycle but you all know what that is but we call it the period where did that come from anyway who made that up i don't know johnny <laughs> <laughs> menstrual cycle a period don't mean it mean anyway you know, we all understand and know where the period came from, the menstrual cycle came from, all that other stuff. So, you can imagine me living with with these with these all, all these, these women women's. my entire life. I'm pretty fluid when it comes mm-hmm. to the menstrual cycle and the period and all this stuff. So I know stuff. I know what pads to go get. Yes, you know, he does. I know who like tampons, who don't. You know, the overnight tampon, who need the heavy flow, the medium flow. <laughs> so I'm I'm fluid in this thing. You see what I'm saying? Because this this is my life. This is what I had to do. I ain't had no boys. You know, a couple of my daughters played basketball. Some played volleyball. You know, been in the band, all that good stuff. But mm-hmm. I ain't had them dudes. You know, I ain't had to do the whole, look here, boy, you need to go wash. You must say, I ain't had to do none of that. These chicks, they was on their game. But they needed daddy help every now and then because, you know, that I needed to go, I need to grab me some pads on the way. I got you. What you want? Cortex? What, what you need in your life? I <laughs> Y'all, got the mere fate that he knows the name of him. I got you. Tell you he what is you not need. afraid to go in the store. And, and I'm get in the a- store and I'm with a buggy with different sizes, tampons, cord. It don't matter because this, this is my family. This is what I'm doing. <laughs> so, in my mind, I know a lot when it comes to this because this is what I this is my life. This is what I live. <laughs> so fast forward it to this beginning of this week. Okay. We out. We looking for a truck. So find a find a little truck we go get. But we before you know we was looking at trucks and you know jumping up in the truck. Some of them had side steps. Some of them didn't. You know. So I'm looking at my wife and I'm looking at her grab her leg. You know, she grabbing her leg, helping her leg get up in the truck. I'm like, man, what's what's going on? Your leg bother you? You know? She's like, no, I'm straight. She pull up, get in it. So I see her do it a couple more times. And I said, I'm like, well, babe, what's going on with your leg? Your knee? What's happening? Do we need to put this on pause? My wife look at me and she said, I'm straight. I just got period leg. I looked at her and I said, say what? <laughs> she said, I'm good. I just got these period legs. I said, these period legs is giving me a fit. <laughs> and I looked at her, y'all, like she done bumped her head. I said, you period legs? What, what, is, what are you talking about? I've never heard this term. 48 years living with all girls. Never heard this term in my life. So I'm looking at her like, so this how you gonna play me? You just ain't gonna tell me what's wrong with your leg? This is where we at? Joker, we around here, we doing stuff, we branching out, we evolving, we growing, we going to next levels, and you won't tell me something wrong with your knee or leg, you will come with you got period leg. I did. Though. And she looked at me, she said, baby, I do. Okay. He thought we I gonna, was lying, y'all, that I had made something up. We going to go with that, period, lady. I can't believe you. You going to just tell me something <laughs> like that. Now, I'm going to tell you I'm gonna tell you how coincidental this was. Because we got home. I forgot about it. I was going to talk to her about it, but it, it slipped my mind. We was handling business. It was hot, y'all. We was, I'm trying to make a deal. You know, we trying to get the best truck for the money, all that stuff. So, we get home. We get home. 
my daughter, one of my daughters just moved to Atlanta with my other daughter, so they got a place together. So they in Atlanta chilling. My daughter called, the one that lived with us. She said, hon, Deidre's talking on speakerphone. So I walk in the room, and she was like, yeah, these, these dang on stairs, mama, killing me. I'm walking up and down these stairs, and I'm like, I'm, I know I'm in pretty good shape, but they hurt me. And then I'm walking by, y'all. I'm walking out the, the bedroom. <laughs> My daughter said, he dang on period leg. They killing me. And I turned right around. I said, y'all <laughs> y'all trying to play me. So you knew I was in the room. Your mom and I text you or something. No. And then you go bust out and just say your period leg. I said, so you got period legs too. This is what you're telling me. She talking about, yeah, daddy. What? You, I, look, stop playing with me, Deidre. If something wrong with your leg, I say, you know what? Ain't, but, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to the doctor. The doctor we going to go to the doctor. We're going to get an x-ray on your leg. You, We're going to find out what's going on with your knee. Because something done happened. No. You ain't trying to tell me. She like, babe, I'm telling you the truth. It's about my knee. 48, y'all. It's never heard. Never heard. So this is what I decided to do. I said, you know what? I'm going to call my goddaughter. I'm going to holler at her real quick. <laughs> call my goddaughter. I'm talking to her. She talking about, yes, Jesus. I said, hey, listen, Deidre, she around here. Is something going on with her knee or something you know about? She like, no, what, what, why? I said, because I asked her what was wrong with her leg. She was grabbing her leg, trying to put it up in the truck. And then she looked at me and told me it's period leg. Period leg. And I looked at her, and then she started laughing. My goddaughter started laughing. And I'm like, what, what are you laughing about? And she says, she said, Johnny, that's true. I said, oh, so y'all, y'all go play me. But I don't know why you would think that I was lying or in cahoots or I don't know. We was trying to pull something. Because this is what you would do. You do stuff like something will hurt on you, mm-hmm. but you don't want to stop the flow of maybe something I got going on. Mm-hmm. So you would just deal with whatever right. until it ends. And I right. that's not what it is. I always tell you, it don't matter what's going on. If something is wrong with you, if it's a matter, then we need to stop what we're doing. Right. And we need to take care of it. Well, the matter was, this was something that was going on, and it didn't need to stop what we were doing because I was going to be okay. I had I had ibuprofen, and so I think I had already taken some, but it it, it was just I a, was okay, but it was just you know sometimes dealing with the symptoms of menstruation when your menstruation is on. Excuse me, sometimes it's a lot. Listen, I think I'd have been okay with everything. Mm-hmm. I just didn't believe the period leg statement. The fact that I said it like that, yeah. I, that I didn't say, "Yo, oh, baby, you know I'm just cramping and stuff like that. Or yeah, yeah. But that because I have mean. never said, you have never, never heard the term ever. period legs. So I'm talking to my goddaughter. She telling me all this stuff. She's telling me Johnny is true. You know, then she goes to elaborate Mo. She thought, well, sometimes... I had period shoulder, and then the bottom of my stomach be hurting. I, I, I got ready to hang up on her. I'm like, so y'all trying to play me? Cause ain't nobody never. I ain't never heard this. And she laughing hard at me. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna holler at you later. So this is what I'm finna do. I'm finna call her OG, and I'm finna call my mom. I'm finna talk to her about this, cause everybody trying to play me now, and I know moms ain't gonna try to play me. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna call her. And you call your mama. And I told her. And she said. She said, oh, yeah, that thing, that thing affects your whole body, baby. You have, you, I mean, it, it, it be in your chest sometimes. <laughs> sometimes it be in your back. And then your legs, your toes, too. It be all over. I had that thing in my pinky toe, my pinky finger and all this up. All that, mama. I said, so let me ask you a question. I think you was over it at that point. Yeah. By this time, I'm like, okay, this must be... Deidre done reached out to everybody and told I them didn't. to roll with the period leg I thing. Didn't. So I ain't had nobody, I ain't had nobody else to talk to. So I'm listening to what my mama said. She telling me. She telling me all this stuff. So now I got to go find out what it is. I look it up. And it's a real thing, y'all. I told you, Johnny, I told you. I said, okay, so before, and I know a lot of, you know, you women can, us as women can, you know, understand what each other is going through. Some, because some of us have, and I've told you this, babe, some of us have different, you know, symptoms during that time of the month. You know, sometimes, like I've told you, before I had kids, it was just a matter of, oh, okay, you know, period yeah. zone. 
you know, just make sure you got enough. Yeah, back in the day, you was a soldier. I didn't need no ibuprofen. I didn't need oh, no pampering. I didn't need no nothing. But once you have kids, your body changes. You're right. And so, you know, and it seems like, it does seem like the older that I get, sometimes weeks before it comes on, I'll, be, I'll tell you, I said, okay, it's coming. Because I'm, I'm aching, you know, different things is going on. And you will say, well, babe, you you are, you all right? Because you've been kind of snappy with me. I think that's what. <laughs> she a little cougar back in the day. She get a little. <laughs> Ask something, rah, okay, all right, all right. You say right. then. No, it's not. And so, you know, it's just, just a different thing now. And so at this point this week, y'all, I was just like, you know, I'm over it. And we was I'm doing so a, we was it. doing a low, whole lot of running around, and I'm a very strategic dude. So I had what we was doing on what day a whole itinerary, and she was like, Joker. I need a day. Yeah. I think Tuesday night when we were at the dealership. Yeah. Because y'all would literally Tuesday from, well, we were up maybe about eight or a little before that. And so we were out the house at about almost nine. And so until 11, yeah, almost 11 when we got back home. And so at this point I was, yeah, was tough. I was over it. I got you. I was over it. But we got accomplished what we needed to get accomplished. Yeah, because Tuesday was go get a truck day. Right. So Wednesday couldn't come in until Tuesday goals were accomplished. And well, I know so, what I was told. So I had to get something new. Not necessarily exactly what I wanted, but it's going to do what I got it, got it to do. But anyway, that's not what this podcast right, is Right. You're right. This podcast is about. So I wanted to come on here and talk about this because... Because he thought I was one, playing and for, then everybody else playing. confirmed it. And... I wanted to come on here to talk from a man's perspective about in a marriage and this part of the relationship when you as my wife go through these different things. Yeah. So it's, it's one thing to have a menstrual cycle when it first comes on. Mm-hmm. and then But then your body go through all these changes. Mm-hmm. And then you grow up and then... You have babies, and then, but this one thing continues to happen, and it changes as your body changes, yeah. your life changes. Yeah. So, whereas it might been kind at one point in time, it's not so kind anymore. Mm-hmm. It was never kind. It was never kind. Yeah, it was okay. never kind. I apologize. Why are you looking, staring off, and you reminiscing? No, I'm just, I'm listening to what you're saying. With me. No, I'm with you. Go back to the place. I'm with you. Okay. I'm just saying it was, it was, right. it was just. It wasn't a real issue because it was like, okay, and mine has always been a strong seven days. So it's like it was never, but there was, it wasn't all the moodiness. It wasn't all the, um, you know, right. soiling your clothes. And yeah. it wasn't all that. It was just like, oh, okay, it's here. Okay, it's here. deal with it. You yeah. Know, and then we make sure you got it right. And now you're right. It is. And now it affects me a whole lot more. And a lot so- different. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's, it's times, you've always been a touchy-feely woman, so I know that. And, you know, I'm touchy-feeling at times. You touchy-feeling whenever. Mm-hmm. It don't matter. Mm-hmm. So, Except over the years, for that time of the month. <laughs> but here's the thing. Sometimes you are, and then sometimes you not. Well, yeah. And it can yeah. literally be in the same moment. Did you say in the same moment? In the same moment. Okay. I'll take that. Why aren't you holding me to, okay, baby, I got you. I can just get off me. It's hot right now. I'm like, what, what just happened? This is literally something. So I've never experienced this, y'all. My, oh, let me tell you something. When I tell you it was something we marked on the calendar, Mr. Cycle was here, boom, seven days. Oh, we got to handle it, da, 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 da. You know, it's off. I make sure she had all this stuff when the girls started having. So it was like that. And now, bro, I'll be like, she be like, hold me. Don't hold me. Get off me. Touch my leg. Get off me. Don't touch me. Get out the room. Come back in the room. I want to watch this. Turn the TV off. Like, it's all, it's the emotions. So, because we are such a great place in our relationship, she has that freedom to do it like that. But I wasn't ready. But you respond well. I, I do respond well. So, that's well a good because thing. Because I... Because where we are in our relationship, I truly 
love and care about you and yeah. I want the best for you. Yeah. So it's not a front. It's not something I'm trying to do to do. It's it's my life. It's it's what we do. I know. But sometimes for a man, it's a little tough. Yeah. But that's why I told you when we were sitting in the dealership Tuesday night, I was tired and I told you at the end of this one, I might need some pints of blood. You did. But... <laughs> And Sorry, I, y'all, if that's a lot, but it is what it is. Yeah, we might um, need a disclaimer before. Right. It's well, so, it's a part of life. It, it Every is a part woman of life. Right. has this. Right. At some point in time in their life, they go get it. So, he, and you know, like, it was, so this was Tuesday night, y'all. It maybe, you know, close to maybe 8 o'clock or whatever. Then we're sitting there, and this, it was just me and him. And I was like, babe, um, normally, you know, on a regular week, I'm I'm good. I'm you know I'm up and I'm at them and I'm ready to go with you and you know I'm focused. I said, but it's a different week for me, babe, because you we, I have a, something else factored into this week now that I didn't expect and it's you know it's been being you know kind of irregular. So I was like, she's not kind to me this week, and you'll yeah. be like, she's not kind, and I was like, no, and I said, I just need you to let me sleep in in the morning. Just give me a minute to sleep. And I in. gave it to her, y'all. <laughs> but here's the thing. So at, when she was younger. When we was young, when we were married, when she would have a menstrual cycle, I knew when her menstrual cycle would come on and go off. Now, yeah, you would call it. Now, I have no clue yeah. because two weeks before, was it a week before? Right before we got ready to move, I think a week in between, mm -hmm. it went off. Right. So, you were supposed to be good I was like, yeah. for the month. And then... A week went by, <laughs> we got ready to move, it came back on. <laughs> <laughs> so we looking at each other like you know, cause we be moving into a brand new house. I'm trying to talk to you in these rooms right quick. Yeah, you know, what, that's what you're gonna call it. You was gonna be. Talking I'm gonna to talk me. to you in these yeah, rooms right quick. Talk. We need we to have talk a whole lot. We need to have a conversation in each one of these rooms, and it just you know. And the the, the whole plan. It it ain't work out like the that. whole plan changed, y'all, and so, I was devastated. But. I, it's just now the way your body is and the way, you know, the menstrual cycle happens. Me being a man, this this is one of those things that I wish I can do something to help. But it's like I really can't but just be there. Yeah. And you, you are. And, you and say, I babe, what do you respond. need? Yeah. My response to everything you do. Because at that moment, it's not about me. It has to be about you. And that's why I wanted to come on here and talk to because some men, some men are not nice when their spouses are on their cycle. Um, and granted, some women are not nice when they're on their cycle. And as a man, I will never know what that feels like, what it happens, how it, I would never know none of right. that. So with that, I feel like my responsibility as your husband is to try to make that situation, those moments, as painless from my side as I possibly can. Yeah. And, and I share a lot with you. And I from, share a whole yeah, lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. And they come from out of nowhere. She just say Cause stuff to me, y'all. about it. <laughs> we'll be, yeah, you know, she'll get herself all together and... We'll be sitting watching a movie or something, <laughs> and she'll be like, whatever, and just blurt it out. I'm like, oh, did you? <laughs> I told you too much. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Be like, you boy, know. I had a whole bunch of jellyfish. But You'll be like, babe, that's a lot. I'm like, oh, And I'll be like, I got to, I got to tell somebody because it's like, is, is this really going on with my yeah. body? And but I, she like, got to tell me because I don't it. want her to be telling, you know, Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike. So Johnny got to be available <laughs> to hear this. Edition? I said all. Oh. oh, well, that's the, the pretty much the one, of them. one. Yeah, one of them. One of them. So I'm I'm having to be there, but from a man's point of view, um, it's a it's a it's a lot of different emotions, a lot of different roller coasters to go through, and me being a man and and going through daily stuff myself. You know, some men can feel like I go through my stuff and, you know, I need some grace on my end as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm here to say that that's one thing 
one thing I can say, you will never know what it is to be a man and think like we think. You're absolutely so right. So to have a responsibility to to go out there in the world and do what we do and have the things in our mind and, you know, all the stuff that we need to do or we see we need to do better or we got to try to figure out or whatever the case is, which I've learned, you know, from the years of us being together, sometimes I just need to talk some of this stuff through with you. Mm-hmm. You know, I got a best friend. um, Clint, I run some stuff by him, you know, but I just sometimes I just need to talk it out or write it out or something to get it on paper. And a lot of times, most of the stuff that I get out there is not a need for it all to happen or happen right now, Mm -hmm. you know, whereas you get overwhelmed when it's just in your head. So, but when it comes to a woman and dealing with that, one thing that we cannot do, a man cannot do is have a baby. And you guys, y'all do that. And then something else that y'all do that we can't do, y'all have menstrual cycles. Yeah. And I don't know what that is. You don't, honey. All I know is what I can live through you. And it's been a it's been a roller coaster. <laughs> it's been a hell of a roller coaster. But you but you offer me, you extend grace when it comes to that. And there are times when you may say something and I'll be like, babe, you're that you you not you not, you being nasty. You just being nasty. You say that you all and I'll be like and I'll be like, okay, well no, maybe you wasn't, maybe it was me. But you extend, you try to you tr- even though you you will never know what it is, um, you try to help as much as much as you possibly can. Yeah. Yeah. Cause even I'm and I'm talking about, you know, and y'all know us, we just we gonna say it. We just transparent like that. But even I think the other day when I was trying to go into another room, you know, to get ready and stuff like that or whatever, he was like, "Babe, you can come back out here. You can come back out here and do that." <laughs> I was like, "Babe, you ain't got to go. You ain't got to go. You know, because she in our bathroom we have a a room where the toilet is at the commode. So and we have a door on that and it's." Big enough for the toilet. You can sit in there comfortably, whatever the case is. But she was in there. And I was like, babe, you you ain't got to go in the little. Come out here. You got room. And she was like, no, I'm straight. I'm just using the bathroom. I was like, all right. And then there'd be times like she I was just, in the sometimes bathroom. Sometimes I try not to scar you. <laughs> she was in the bathroom. And I was like, I was like, she was, she was handling business. And I was like, well, I'm going to jump in the shower real quick. I knocked on the door. And I was like, hey, can I come in? Don't come in here, Joker. I can't come in. Don't come in here. So I, I sat my tail back right. down. Right. I was like, y'all, like, I, right. I hollered as loud as I was. I was like, you don't even want this. He was like, I don't want it. I was like, no, nah, you don't want it, sir. He I was like, like right. okay. I'll and be did out not come in. Look, I'm good. Y'all, sometimes good. I have to refrain because sometimes I want to overshare and I don't want to scar you forever. But I mean, in our marriage, as long as we've been, you know, I've seen some stuff and you know, I prayed for, for you in a whole different way because I'm like, that's a it's a lot that yeah. happens. Yeah. You know, but it's it's yeah. a, it's a part of a woman's body and stuff that has to happen. And you know, like I said, I never know what that feels like. All I know where I am now in my maturity and being your husband is that I need to try to be whatever it is you need me to be during those times. And if I need to be four different people in a moment. In a moment. Hold me. Get off me. I don't want to watch that. Turn the TV off. I want to listen to this. I want to listen to that. Touch my leg. Don't touch my leg. I'm finna be all the people. And then I come back and I be like. And after, But after these seven days, I'm going to look at you. <laughs> like Joker, Sally had you tripping last week. But. Yeah, it, it's it's. But you take it. You do. Yeah, because I, I don't know you what that it. is, and yeah. we've been together, you know, and we're not yeah. planning on. And right now, like we're I never, said, ever it didn't partner. affect. It didn't affect you. I seen this. I seen this one period affect you so many different ways, <laughs> man. God bless you, all women. God bless you, Jesus. When I tell you all different ways. I, that's why, you know, I ain't going to say that. Yeah, I'm going to say it. Okay, say it. 
Because you really you, you didn't have, mean that you weren't going to say that. I didn't mean that. Okay. You you have a plethora of different women and your one woman. A plethora. You do. You really do. I got some of everybody. You got you. some of everybody. Yep. Sometimes it's intentional. Other times it because of the period. I mean, you take it where you, you take it where you take it at. You get it where you get it at. But but I try to be even sometimes when I feel like I don't have control of my emotions, I try to have control of my emotions. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, just let me go lay down. Let me just let me go lay down because some sometimes things are better left unsaid. Because you, especially during this time, you will say something to me, and then I'll just stop talking, and you'll be like, oh, so that's what we gonna do? You just not gonna say nothing to me. And especially during this time of the month, it's just better that I don't say anything at all. Yeah. And I've learned that. Yeah. Because sometimes I ask for it, and she gave it to yeah. me. Yeah, and I give you exactly and what I'd be you like, asked well, for. Well, well, mm. but so I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions. Um, I would say, you know, this is this is the part of the marriage, and and I want to put out there. You know, guys, if you have any question that you don't feel comfortable that you can ask your your wife about this, I I would definitely come back on. We will come back on and have a discussion about this. So if you have any questions that you might want to ask or statements or even emotions or feelings that you feel about, you know, when your when your wife is on a menstrual cycle and the emotions and the everything that happened, you know, some men I I I never had the chance to be like, I don't do periods because they've been in my life from day one. Yeah. So, you know, some men got boys and the only, you know, situation they deal with is with their wife and, you know, they don't deal with it. The wife handle whatever, you know, when she on a menstrual cycle, you doing that and then you just stay over there with that. But I some think men the thing, don't even I think the thing it. that was so great about with you, especially with me and with the girls um, is that you were trying to be as understanding as possible because that's something that you don't have to deal with. Yeah. So, and I'm talking about as far as you having it personally because, of, of course, you're a male. But you would always be available to, you know, if it was we needed some more pads in the house or if it was that we needed, you know, we, we had, you know, they were giving you maybe some major attitude and I'd be like, babe, she probably, she probably bleeding this week. And you'd be like... <laughs> some of the girls used to be, I like... She done lost her mind. Who she thinks she talking to? But the one thing that I can say, some people with 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 multiple daughters, especially, um, you know, I've heard things. You know, they, you know, it was a lot going on with them, especially when they had their periods and they were just all over the place and, you know, moody. You know, you never knew what the but it it wasn't that for us. It wasn't. It really wasn't because I think we had an understanding. Like, if you on your period and you feeling some type of way and you don't, you can't, you know, you don't know how to act to, to get along in the house. you got a room with a door on it. Yeah. Go use it and just break away from everybody else. So I think we got through those times pretty good. We really yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. Now we should have brought stock in. Tampons. Hotex. Okay. Yeah. Stay free. Always. Somebody like that. Cause we, we spent a whole lot of our money with them. Praise Jesus. Yeah, I used to go up to Walmart. And those would be like, hey, Mr. Johnny. You get, yep. You see. Y'all moved them? You see. What y'all that. doing? You know it's Christmas time. We needed this space over here. You what are all they on that? You are absolutely crazy. Shoot. I got to so, get them. Let me tell y'all. So I want to share some stuff. And let me tell y'all, I didn't used to be like this. But being that I'm married to um, the king of look up stuff and find out the origin of stuff. And you need don't take nobody word for it when you can look it up and understand research, what's going baby, on. Research. Um, and now it has bled over to me. No pun intended. Pun intended. Um, because now that's all we, you know, that now that's all I do because my husband's name is Johnny. Look it up, Charles Mobley Jr. Um, and so I found an article on Women's Day that says eight things you didn't know about your period. Can I just share a couple of those with you real quick with, with the people? Yeah. Because I believe this is going to help somebody. Because I truly believe that things happen. Well, 
You share uh -huh. something, then I want to ask you a couple of questions. Okay, okay. So one is some women can feel themselves ovulate, and that's what I was telling you that I can tell. But well, that's that's what I wanted to ask you because sometimes before your period came comes on, mm -hmm. like before. Back in the day, I used to tell you when your period was getting ready to come you on. You would tell and me you that. You had no inkling Right. I, I didn't want to know because I really didn't want it to come on. And so you would now, you actually tell me. Now you be like, mm. <laughs> and you would touch a part of your body and be like, yes, she on her way. <laughs> what? <laughs> she who? What are you talking about? She on her way. So that's what it is. That's the ovulating. You just, I mean, you and, and you just know you can feel when 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 it's about to come. Like like I said, because I really didn't know what what. Uh, unless I'll even go back to this. I, I when I when I before I had kids, I didn't I didn't even have cramps, so I didn't know what a cramp was. Mm. Literally, I didn't know. Okay, so here here's me pregnant. Uh, on the day that I was going into labor, I was on the phone with my best friend. And she was at her sister's house. And so she was like, um, I said, something don't feel right. And she was like, what do you mean? She said, something just don't, I said, something just don't feel right. And she was like, I said, I think I'm peeing on myself some. She said, girl. And so she said something to her sister, I think. And then she was like, that's not your, that might be your water um, breaking. And I was like, well, maybe, but I don't feel nothing else. So, you know, I'm, I'm all right. Maybe I tell to use the bathroom and they knew it. So she was like, I don't know, you you better be careful. And so I was like, okay, we sit on the couch talking, ain't thinking about nothing or whatever. And then something just started feeling different. And I was like, I don't feel right. She was like, Well, are you cramping? And I was like, What's a cramp? And she was like, You don't you didn't you never have cramp cramps with your period? And I was like, Never. No pain, wow. no nothing. And she was like, it just feels she she was like, it feels like a a tenseness or like uh you know your your muscles contracting real strongly um, down at the bottom of your stomach or whatever, and I was like, I mean, well, it do feel funny down there, but again, all when I had before I had kids, it was just okay. My period's here, no headaches, no pain, no nothing. And so when she she went and she asked her sister, and she came back on the phone and she was like, Deidre, I think you may be in labor. And so I was like, Oh, okay. Well, let me call somebody because I was home by myself, and so. Even with that, like I said, I didn't know what to expect because I had never experienced pain mm -hmm. with my period. Um, but like I said, now I can tell, you know, when when it's when you know my things are changing about my body, areas, you know, maybe a little tender or, or whatever. So, um, but that's number one. Some women can feel themselves ovulate, um, and this does say that some notice um, don't notice any specific changes. Others feel um, ovulation more pointedly. Um, so it's just some even feel it on one side of their abdomen one month and on the other side the, the next month. So um, it's based on the woman. It's, it's, it is. It's based on the, on, on the woman. And that's what the time when the ovaries take turns releasing the eggs. So well, certain women can, you know, it, it changes from woman to woman. Well, I can say this. Although you women, all women have periods, one good thing to know there's nobody else in the world like you. Yeah. Because you don't have it like nobody else. Well. <laughs> All I'm going to say is you mind change. Okay, number All two right. real quick. So let me ask you this. Okay. All right, so it says cycle length. Length not only varies from woman to woman, but from month to month. Mm -hmm. So in the beginning, I don't believe that you had any of the, you just knew. I knew. It was, on, it was like clockwork. I knew. It was like clockwork. Nah, I now have no idea. Yeah, it's all over the place. It really is. Yeah, and your mom was like, "Well, you might be in uh, pre pre menopause," and I'm like, "Whatever it is, I don't want it." No <laughs> she be in here talking to y'all. She be like, "Y'all, just please leave me alone. Just go." <laughs> and I be like, "Baby, what's wrong? Please leave me alone." Then I have to remember. Okay, a period on she. Looking up at the Lord, and she okay. Just, let yeah, me just shut just up. And let her go leave, through what she going alone. through. Please leave me alone. And so every, you know, like I, like it said, everybody, every woman is different. Like I just said, um, and it changes from month to month. For me, it does, and especially now, y'all. I just turned forty eight. So for me, um, 
you know, I may, may miss a couple months in, months in between. And then she'll come and then be gone for a week and then come back and be like, hey, girl, what's up? And then be completely disrespectful, as she was this past week. Yeah. So it just, you know, it just changes. Um, what she say? It, she just changes. No, but you said she said, hey, girl, what's up? Hey, girl, what's up? <laughs> um, th- but this also shares that a common remedy for irregular or heavy periods <sighs> That don't have a more serious underlying cause is birth control pills, which can help regulate your cycle. Hmm. Um, well, I, I I took birth control pills. It wasn't for that particular reason. It was just because um, after I had Brianna, I you know I took them, you know, just because you didn't want no more babies. Well, they recommended that I take them, hmm. and so I was like, okay, I'll take them. And then I went to church, back to church, you know, after a few weeks after I had Brianna, and then I rededicated my life to the Lord. And said I was no longer going to let Johnny have my body, and uh, <laughs> and so I stopped taking them. Well, needless to say, Paige came the next year, so that didn't work out too well. But that didn't anywho, that ain't what we talk about. So three, mm-hmm. menstrual cramps mm-hmm. can occur in other areas of the body besides the abdomen. That's what I was. There you go, right there, sir. That's, That's the very period legs. Leg. Yeah, Lord, the lower. Remember, you know, remember I told you my back. The lower pain. I know you said your back. In my lower back, um, upper leg pain. Um, so it, it's not just, you know, it's not just Girl, limited to your abdomen area. I was just stunned by period. Legs. I know. I and and because that. it came out of nowhere, you was looking at me and you was laughing. And you was like, I have never heard that term before. Ever. Because I had never used it before. I don't know where it came from. That's just how she had me down. She had me down bad this week. <laughs> She had me down bad. She had sis down bad. Ooh, yeah. But it says menstrual cramps can also feel different than cramps that occur elsewhere on your body. And I think one time I told you, you was like, well, babe, you'll be like, babe, how you feeling? And I'll be like, I just feel like one big cramp. My body feel like one big cramp. I, I, and as, a, as your husband, I'm like, go immediately into my tongue because I'm like, I don't know what to do with Did this. Did you? Lord, but you, to, you, you have laid your hands on me and went into prayer. Cause I don't know, yeah. I don't and know I what else to do. Prayers. I have no idea what to do, and I've I've literally laid my hands on you to pray, and you be like trying to get your hand off. It. Okay, <laughs> prayer prayer can work with the words. I just send the words to you. That's all. That's all you got to do. Words. Just get your That's hands all you got to do. Yes, ma'am. But I see, just send the this, words. This delve, uh, dove even deeper into what what it really is. It, the um, it says like the bladder and the arteries. The uterus is a smooth muscle. Um, unlike with the striated skeletal muscles in your leg, when your uterus contracts, you'll feel more of an undefined deep ache. And that's what it is. A deep ache. That sounds pretty good. One big cramp. (laughs) That's what it is. Okay, so four. It's unlikely that sex will soothe menstrual cramps. I don't know who thought of that. I don't know who said it. I don't know who, who conjured that up. I don't know. I just don't know. Um... That's not my testimony. I don't know. Um, this thing says, I if don't you know. ever heard that sex is a good remedy for cramps, you might want to take that advice with a grain with of salt. With a grain of salt, because I don't know that to be true. Um, that may be for somebody, but it's not for me, mm. said Deidre Mobley. Um, now, they did say that um, sex is good for stimulating, I think, the uterus to send you into labor. I think that's what um, uh, that's what it says. But look at this. It says, when the service is touched, which sometimes happens during sex, it can cause uterine cramping. So I think that's what it was when they were saying um, there's an OBGYN specialist in Pennsylvania said that semen contains prostaglandins, which helps stimulate lab- simulate labor by causing uterine contractions. Okay. Yeah. Yet another way sex can cause cramping. Yeah, so it, now I think we have experienced that one. The uh, sex caught her causing the uterine cramping. I think that's why Paige ended up coming early. Mm-hmm. But that's our business, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Mind the business of y'all. Why, why are you looking like you don't know what I'm talking about? You remember? I, I, I remember. Because I ended up going in the hospital that night. Mm-hmm. She came shortly after. There you have it. So here's number five. Why you're ov- why you're ovulating? Men may find you more attractive, and I really do. You remember me like sometimes telling you that I can be full fledged in the midst of my cycle, or it's about to come on, and I'm in the store, and I'm on the 
uh, pad aisle, on the tampon aisle, on the pad aisle, or whatever, you know, the, all that, all that uh, women, the women things. Mm-hmm. And, like, be looking to see if they, you know, got the tight pads or whatever that I need. And, like, just some random man will walk by and be looking and be like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> and I'll be like, you, you be feeling like, Joker? look, whether it's on yet and you just having, like, different symptoms and stuff. Or whether you're full-fledged in the middle of it and yeah. you just ran out of pads you need to come get some. I'd be like, you're nasty. Do you not see me buying pads? Do you not think I'm over here for a reason? That's just nasty. And you would start laughing at me. But that's the way I feel. Like, I'm buying pads, which means I'm probably bleeding. Which means I don't want you to talk to me. Or you buying it for your <laughs> daughter. Or you buying it for somebody else. We don't think... we. Listen, Just we are nasty. visual. Leave me alone. If you find we go haul at you, we don't care if you dig in a ditch. Or buying a pack of pay on the pad. It don't matter. If you find like, you, you will get a little bit of attention from us. That's just what we do. But don't be talking to my wife ever. No man. I'm I mean, I can't stop that. But, but listen to this, because I got to read this little piece. It says a study from the journal Psych- Psychological Science found that when men smell t shirts worn by women who were ovulating, their testosterone levels raised sig- significantly more than when they sn- sniff shirts worn by non-ovulating women. These findings imply that men exhibit a biological urge to mate with women who are ovulating. Studies like this one suggest that there are fundamental ways that women attract men at their most fertile time. That's crazy. So basically, you saying women spray off a little that little sexual thing. <laughs> And then men, we just smell it. And then we, just, we be trying to hump everything. That's what you trying to say? That's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like you saying. Yo, what, what animal? I think deer, deer, deer do that. I believe deer spray off some kind of scent. Did we watch something where it said that? They was actually. It was a skunk or something? No, no. no it, it, was, it was a okay, deer. And I think they had it in a bottle or something. <laughs> To attract deer, you and crazy. somebody played a joke on somebody Yo, and sprayed it on somebody, and the deer was trying to come to. You that know. is funny. But yeah, so basically, that's that basically what that just said. That is you're when crazy. y'all ovulating, y'all spray. <laughs> we spray off a ovulating scent. Spray sense. off a ovulating scent. Girl, we be y'all like, better spray off your ovulating scents. You're crazy, and y'all just nasty. So listen, at the end of that, it says many women report a raised libido during ovulation as well. And research has shown that they may act more flirtatious during this time. Nah. I think that's true. I'm going to tell you this. It done been times (laughs) you've been doing on your period and I be trying to do something and you just, I just be looking and I just catch you staring at me and I'm like, what's, you straight baby? And she say, a couple of words before she say you fine. <laughs> I'd be like, what? <laughs> Maybe that's a part of the finest. And you be like, that's a part oh, of the finest. Ooh, I'll get on you right now. I like, oh, what's what's happening? This day two, ain't it? What you you that, gonna get on what? I don't wanna I'm say telling you what the study says. You know, that that what she be. She be like, oh boy. Boy, that's, that's now that's sometimes that's one of the roller coaster stops. That's one of the roller coaster stops. You're right. So it could be like, oh, I just, oh, <laughs> oh. Then she'd be like, you need to go upstairs and go in the bathroom, just stay in there for a couple of hours. What? What? You crazy? You are crazy. Okay, so listen. So it says the next one says it could take up to a year for your period to regulate once you go off the pill. I've I've never been on a pill consistently, just maybe for that week or so. Well, I'm um, sure everybody know that based on how many kids. Yeah, based we on got. how many kids we got, y'all. I, we we never use birth control, um, and for that week or two that I was on them, we weren't together. So there you have it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, yeah, that I I never had an issue with that, and I I mean I know. Excuse me, that they have the, the pill, they have the thing you put in your arm, they have all that stuff or whatever. I cannot be. Um, I cannot be a spokesman for any of this because, like I said, I was on the pill for maybe a couple of weeks. Yeah, and we weren't together. So the the next the one staying is, away from you was my pill. The the next one was it says natural PMS remedies do exist. They yeah I I, I saw that. Um, 
So it says Advil and chocolate aren't the only solutions when it comes to relieving headaches, um, ab abdominal pains. Um, they said certain vitamins and minerals can help ease PMS symptoms. I just take ibuprofen. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. Or I'll take something to put me to sleep. Let's say Advil. Why you don't ever take Advil? A PM, PM pill. I don't know. I may have had Advil PM before as well. I take any kind of PM now. And chocolate. You yeah. tried that before? Well, not really. So you won't try to read I'm not it. a real, I'm not a, I mean, I'm just read. I just read this, you know, when I found it. But, um, so I haven't, you know, known that. But I'm not a real chocolate, chocolate person. You might be a chocolate person. You think so? When... It's on. Okay, well, I don't know. But it says magnesium can also help alleviate irritability. Irritability, that's the word, as well as muscle aches. Um, the whole B vitamin complex, which includes the B12, B6, folic acid, this says that can help ease period symptoms, baby. So, like cramping and craving. So, maybe I can try this now that I know this. Um, they have herbal teas on the market that can help both PMS reducing effects. I know for me, um, Somebody once told me that drinking warm liquids can actually make you flow heavier. Um, and I really didn't notice it at first, but now I think I did notice it yeah, the other day. And I think like I told it. you that because I've drunk like a whole lot of coffee and I was like, oh, oh what's really going on? Um, but, you know, you just need to, if, if it gets out of hand, you know, I guess as a, with everything, you consult your physician. So, you um, know what? Look up quail. Quail? Quail. Q U E double L. Quill. Quill. Can can quell smooth muscle. That means can can alleviate or help take away. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it says studies have suggested that calcium can quell smooth muscle cramps and vitamin D can improve yeah. mood. Put it into. It can so so vitamin D can improve. Hey, we got we got pills upstairs with vitamin D in it. We take we take vitamin D tablets. Mm. You've been taking. You've been taking them I've been this week. Them. I take them. How many you been taking? I take two every night. Oh, you might need to take them in the morning. Boy, hush. This thing say it can improve your moods. You're crazy. So I'm just trying to help us. It's something wrong. I'm just trying to help us. Whatever. That's all. Whatever. Whatever. All right. Um, what's the last one? Last one said your chances of getting a yeast infection during menstrual menstruation are lowered. Huh. Yeah, I did see that. And I was like, okay, well, I learned something too. Yeah. I know the times when I would suffer a lot from them is when I got dental work done. It was on like, um, what was it? Not the, um, was it penicillin that they would give you for, um, like if you had like an abscess tooth or something like that? I think, I think so. it was the penicillin that would cause a lot of them. But it was saying... Um, if you frequently suffer from yeast infections, you may have noticed they rarely be begin during your period. Um, and that's because your menstrual, the me menstrual blood can raise your, the pH of your vagina, making it difficult for yeast to thrive. Therefore, it lowers your chances of infection. Hmm. But, um, however, that elevated pH, along with hormonal fluctuations, can also cause some women to develop more bacterial infections during their period than usual. And that can be identified by extra discharge and a fishy smell. There you have it. Mm. If you have those symptoms and see your doctor for treatment. So it's a lot that, that yeah. goes on in our bodies. Yo, I just wanted to I wanted to come on here and talk about this today because I was just so amazed by the period leg thing. And I guess we just <laughs> we just found out a whole lot about mm -hmm. it. Um we're not experts in it. Um my wife, I would say, is because she lives with it. So all women probably are, but I would say and so women. We don't know everything, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And that's why it is important to read about, and you push me to do that as well. Read, yeah. if not just about different things in general, but about your body as well. Yeah, about so. About different things that goes on. You found out a couple of new things today. Yeah. Um, so hopefully that um, this will help, but yeah, you, you got stuff going on with your body. Definitely. Figure out a way, whatever works for you, to help soothe or uh, um, make the situation better. Um, and men, husbands, we have to be, we we have to ask God for the grace to be able to deal, to be able to, I don't know, deal with it in a better way. I say deal with 
when our wives are on menstrual cycle because we don't know what that is. Yeah. And we do do deal with a lot and as men, and I get that part. Um, on my end, my wife really supports me in a lot of things that I do. You know, she ropes me back in when I go too far out, too fast. Um, so it's a lot of things that she do for me. So during this time, I have to try to make it as most, try to make it most comfortable as I possibly can. I don't even know if that's possible now, but I, I, mean, I do, do what I do. You do. Um, and I will continue to do that. Yeah. Until until it's over. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate you. That's why I say we in this together. Yeah. What they say, we till are. death do us part, for for mm. better or for worse, and sickness and in health and all those things. So. So um, this is our life, y'all. This I found us. out about it, and I want to talk about and he, it. Boy, so that's he was why adamant, we y'all, that he wanted to talk about. I want to know more. I want to know more. And it, it's always exciting when I find out something new, especially when it pertains to my wife or us or whatever the case is. So I want to talk about it. And I, I don't, I don't, I think all men should know extensively what a menstrual cycle is, what happens to a woman's body, you know, what go, what they go through, even talk to your wife. If you've been married and you've been married for a while, I'd say I know some men probably done saw some stuff. Yeah. Other men probably make sure they stay away from it and they don't bother to touch it or whatever the case is. But, I mean, it's not a disease. I mean, you can't, yeah, I mean, if you look at it or whatever, it's not like you're going to start having a menstrual cycle. So I would definitely encourage you to find out more about it because knowledge is power. So... Once you get that knowledge, then you can be a support for your wife yeah. and not act like she has some type of disease or something. And women, I encourage you to read up on it, study some more, you know, find out as much as you can about it. And then, you know, I allow my wife to go through whatever moves or emotions she needs to go through to get through it because I don't know what it is. But I know I want her to be comfortable and I want her to be you know, comfortable yeah. as, as possible when it's going on. So whatever I can do to help that was back in the day, I used to be able to do a lot. At least I thought I did. And now it seems like I can't do a whole lot, but I try and she notices it. So, and it's from the heart. So we're going to continue to push forward y'all. This is us talking about it. It is what it is, man. This is our life, so we're gonna continue to do it. Mo, you got anything else? No, oh, you, you oh, you don't check that. You looking good. at dresses? I'm, I'm good. Oh, I love this joker is looking at dresses. I love y'all. Okay, so it's time for it's, us to go now. It's time to go. This has been Pillow Thank Talk. You, baby. <laughs> Moments with the Mobleys. I am Johnny Mobley Jr. And I'm still his doggone wife. And we are something like an ordinary couple. With extraordinary purpose. Peace out, y'all. Have a great evening. Night, night.